A final part in this video is the structural factors that affect MPY. And remember that the structural factors are underlying, they don't change generally with economic conditions. There's only one structural factor that affects the value of Australia's net primary income account, but it's a really big one. So this is the savings investment gap, possibly the world's worst eye, but I think you know what I'm trying to get at. Jeez, hopefully. The savings investment gap refers to this. So it's this kind of relationship that Australia has a low level of domestic savings so that it doesn't have enough domestic savings to fund investment. So if it wants to fund the desired investment, and remember this is the situation, let's put it in a different color, red, because it's so terrifying here, that investment exceeds saving. So in order to find that extra money, Australia must borrow from overseas or it must seek foreign equity. So here point you're saying, great, all of this is fine. I believe you, Mr. Simons. I appreciate you sharing with this, but what does this refer to? Or how does this relate to NPY? And I would obviously say, good question. So the way I'd encourage you to think about is that these kinds of things are inflows to the capital and financial account, more specifically to the financial account but to the capital and financial account. And we know that inflows onto the capital and financial account will create outflows on the current account. So, so the inflows of investment that we're talking about will lead to NPY outflows. So for example, for foreign debt, Australians are going to have to pay back interest. For foreign investment, uh, it might have to be dividends, profits, or rent. So if Australia has a situation where there is a savings investment gap, this is going to create a situation of NPY outflows. So the very situation of the savings investment gap creates the need for capital and financial account outflows, which creates NPY, sorry, capital and financial account inflows, which creates NPY outflows, which will then increase the NPY deficit, which could then increase the current account deficit. So the situation of the savings investment gap is the structural factor that creates these outflows. Perfect. Thank you.